Today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Playmates Toys Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the muscles of the team, Raphael. This snapping turtle, as the biggest and oldest brother, Raph is the self-appointed leader of the group. He thinks he can use his fists to get himself out of any situation, but while Raph's muscles are bigger than his brain, his heart is bigger than his muscles. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the tape measure and figure out how tall Raphael stands. He's going to be a little bit taller than his brothers. And the proof is in the pudding. There we go. Right there. Proof is in the pudding. It's right there. 50 inches. 55 inches. That's 5.0 inches. And in centimeters, you're switching that over to 12.9. Uh, to 12.9 .9 centimeters is Raphael. Who wants size comparisons? I want size comparisons. There he is next to both Leonardo and Donatello. You would be very astute with your observation. Yes, Michelangelo is omitted from here because we haven't had a look at him just yet. But you can see the difference between the three different turtles. Of course, each one of the turtles are different from one another as well. Uh, Raphael is the snapping turtle, Donatello was the soft shell turtle, and Leonardo was the red-eared slider. For accessories, Raphael comes included with the same shurikens as both Leonardo and Donatello also wielded. And much like those other two turtles, there's no place, unfortunately, uh, where you can put these. Uh, looking around Raphael's very large body, there is no place, unfortunately, where you can store them. I suppose if you wanted to take them, you could, in theory, put them right here. But then, ouchie, ouchie, he would poke himself every single time he moved his arm. So, in the meantime, you can either have the choice of putting them in his hand, or you can leave them off. I like the fact that they do come with multiple different uh, accessories, but I do like the fact that they all share the exact same shurikens. Speaking then and moving forward to his larger weapons, Don, uh, Raphael comes included with tonfas. Instead of getting size, as pretty much every incarnation of Raphael has come included with, this one instead comes with tonfas. And the tonfas fit very easily into his hand in two different fashions. You can either have them straight out, but more usually, more often than not, tonfas are usually wielded kind of like handle side. Kind of like that and then use them as like clubbing um, you can fit them in either one of his hands and you can also uh, get them in his i think like that you can kind of wedge them in between his fingers if you wanted to have kind of like a little side guard of his arm now going back to what we were talking about before with the shuriken placement the tomfas you can fit just on the side here and they fit just attached like so and you can kind of just tuck the handles to the back so that they're not poking out. Same thing on this side right here. Just like that. Or I guess it should be a little bit a little bit further. It doesn't really matter, but you can put them just like that. Let's go pull those out. And similar to the other turtles, he also gets energy versions of these. Now these are pre-sculpted. They already have the, if you can see it there, the hand already holding the tomfa in place. And this whole section here is translucent uh, red plastic. It almost kind of looks like a very sweet candy. No, you shouldn't be putting that in your, in your mouth. But what we will do though, is put it into his hands and it's simply just a case of sliding it over top of his forearms, just like that. What's neat is a it being translucent plastic, you can still make out that Raph's arms are in the inside, the interior of that. We'll go ahead and do it on the other side here as well. There we go. I like this. I really do like this. And I like the fact that Playmates would have included these translucent weapons. Don't worry, don't worry. Michelangelo is going to have that as well. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to have a look at Michelangelo in the next review. Whew. Go ahead and take these off. Again, these are just a soft plastic, and we'll just put those to the side. 
looking at Raphael. I do really like these characters. Oh, 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 before we do that, before we do that. One thing I didn't mention before I lose my train of thought, as I normally like to do, I always look, look at the pamphlets that come included with these figures. Now, this one is no exception. Just showcasing some of the figure and art stylings that they have in here with the Origami Ninja, which actually I just finished watching, funny enough. Uh, Meat Sweats. I love the name of that, Meat Sweats. Uh, Splinter, there's April, of course, the brothers, and there's Baron Draxum. Of course, some really cool-looking vehicles. The two-in-one villain Bustin' Turtle Tank looks awesome. And the epic Sewer Lair playset is standing at a whopping 43 inches in height. Then there's some role-playing weapons and some larger, taller-scale figures and some deluxe figures as well. So there's, once again, Playmates always got you covered when it comes to Turtles toys. One thing that they've introduced this go-around, though, that they haven't done with previous releases, is the Playmates Toys Pizza Points. You can register and be a part of the Secret Sewer Squad, collect pizza points to qualify for special TMNT toys and other fun stuff, and use your ninja skills to be the, on the lookout for this pizza icon on, your, on our toys and website. I just so happen to have... You'll have to bear with me here. I'm just covering off the, each one of the turtles toys. The figures come with their corresponding pizza slice. You get a code. You'll have to bear with me here because I'm actually thinking about using the code online and seeing what I can eventually get. But uh, you, each one of the figures come with their own pizza points and you go to playmatestoys.com and uh, you put in your pizza points. I don't know if they've actually set up anything just yet. But I think what they really should do is offer up exclusives on their set. Certain characters that you can only get online as opposed to picking them up in retail stores. It's sort of incentive for both the collectors and certainly for playmates that you are picking up the Turtles toys. Like we need a reason. So here we have Raphael going back to the figure. I know we sort of beelined it off and took a slight detour. Uh, here we have Raphael who is the snapping turtle. So of course he's a little bit bigger than his other Three brothers, two brothers so far, because we haven't looked at Raphael or uh, Michelangelo just yet. But I really do like this one quite a lot. I like his art design in the in the cartoon. I really like the art design of all the characters. Um, but Raphael, it's got a neat look to him. Very big, very muscular looking turtle. And of course, being a snapping turtle, he's going to have a very kind of jagged, rough looking shell. A contrast to what we would be getting, say, for example, oh, I don't know, with... Leonardo. You can see a very clean, more intricate looking shell. Raph's shell is a little bit just more rougher in the process. Now coloring wise, much like the other turtles that we've gotten in previous years, the turtles colorings will also vary, which also harks back to the fact that each of the turtles are different species. Ah, that plays a little bit more to why their colors are so different as opposed to why are the colors not just the same for all the turtles. So Raph is almost kind of getting this a little bit more like a like a military green, almost a slight olive colored green versus the lime colored green of Leonardo. I like nice contrast between the two turtles toys. Big bulbous, like I said, big sized Raphael. Uh, face sculpt is really good. He's got a nice grimace on his face as well. Kind of a like more angular sort of eyes on him. His bandana drapes around to the front, whereas the other turtles so far have had their their bandanas draping around to the back. This one actually drapes around to the front. Much bigger. Uh, I don't suspect any of his mold has carried over to any of the other turtles, nor do I think his mold would carry over to any future turtles, but I guess there's probably some characters they could probably make use of the exact same mold for. Common, common uh, elements of Raphael certainly carry over to this turtle as well. He's got the red strapping there around his belt. Um, ironically enough, though, I not say ironically because it doesn't actually lead to anything else, but I was going to say he doesn't have knee pads. Um, only Lee, only Donatello actually up to this point has had knee pads. Uh, Michelangelo will also have knee pads, but one can also help but notice that Raphael doesn't have them. He actually has these just straps at the tops of his legs. These nice little added touches though are all these little band-aids. He's got like one down by his leg, unfortunately not painted, and then he's got one on his forearm, but then he's got one on the top here that they painted in. A nice clean paint on all these figures. Very nice, bright, yet not very bright colors. They're almost more like subtle, almost satin sort of colorings that they've used for the turtles. I would have loved to have seen more teeth visible because we see a lot more of that in the cartoon, but at the very least, I'm glad that they did give them. I don't know if you can see it there, 
but they did give him one of his little uh, fanged tooth, which is actually sticking out from his mouth. That's a nice little touch there as well. Uh, posability on this guy. His head rotates all the way around. Sort of seen this in all the other Turtles toys, and Raphael's no exception. His arms hinge out like that. You can rotate them around. His shell does get in the way, yes, but you can at the least get over the shell portion and still rotate his arms all the way around. There's a little of these bumps and ridges and stuff on his shell, on his uh, skin. I like that also as well. Bend at the elbow. Uh, you can rotate the forearm, and you can also rotate the hand as a all the way around as well. These figures are very poseable, like I said. Hinging back and forth on the legs, I kind of wish, again, they could incorporate something where I didn't have to rotate the legs to hinge them out. But at the very least, you do have full posability on that, which is, you know, it, you know, you can look at a toy like this and, and just assume that a toy should have this. And yet, as you've seen on other videos I've done in the, on this channel, there's toys that don't have this posability. Usually you're just relegated to hinges back and forth. So I'm glad that Playmate still continues to put a lot of uh, posability, at least in their Turtles toys, where you, you, know, you can do this. You can't really do that with other figures, a lot of figures on the market, though. Uh, he's got the bend in the knee, and you can also rotate the lower leg. And he's fully posable in the feet. You can rotate those back and forth, and you can hinge them up and down. Um, I certainly really like the different take on these. I know I probably sound like a broken record for saying that, but I'm digging the cartoon. I like the art style. I like the action and almost like just the excitement that they put in the thrilling action that they put in the uh, each of the individual's episodes. But I do like the art style of these guys as well. Uh, they're all very unique to one another. It's a very smart idea that they made them as separate different turtle species that they, they didn't all have to come from the same you know, from the same turtles uh, species, that each one of them are unique to one another. Raphael being sort of the muscle of the group, and he's always really been the muscle of the group, except for the 80s cartoon, which he played more to sar the sarcastic turtle. But other than that, he's always been a more muscular, more fighting member of the turtles group. And it's fitting that they would then make him a snapping turtle, because then it plays more into why he's bigger, why he's also muscular to some of the other turtles' brothers. Have you guys watched the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon? If so, let me know down below in the comments section what you think of the show so far. Pardon me for sounding a little cheesy and corny for a second, but I'm going to say this. I find the show really refreshing. I find the creators have gotten out of their shell. Yeah, that's a little cheesy. Have gotten out of their shell and come up with really unique designs for the characters. But the show does feel refreshing. I haven't loved a Ninja Turtle cartoon in a very long time. I wasn't really a big fan of the CG one, but I'm digging the two-dimensional traditional animation style that they've got for this new Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All the turtles feel fresh, they feel alive, and the characters, all the other characters that inhabit that universe, all have a very unique, fresh take on them. And I'm really digging the style so far. Playmates Toys has always been really loyal to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle brand, and Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles seems no exception. I mean, you can go to the toy aisle and see all the different characters that they're releasing. And I'm sure pretty much any character that's going to make up the universe in the cartoon is probably going to see a plastic treatment down the road as well. But digging the cartoon, digging the toy line, can't wait for more in the pipeline, both in new episodes and in the new toys. Uh, today we were having a look at the Playmates Toys Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was the muscles of the group, Raphael. And of course we're going to have a look at Michelangelo. That's probably a dead giveaway as to what we're going to look at next as we've already looked at all three of the brothers of the four so far. Michelangelo's review is going to be coming up and we're going to have a look at some other Turtles toys uh, from, this, from this lineup as well. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button. That's crucial. It means that if you haven't done so already, you may be missing out on all the content that's coming onto this channel on a regular basis. And let me just tell you, as the guy that's making the content, there's a whole lot of videos coming onto this channel on a daily basis. So make sure that you haven't missed out by hitting that little subscribe button down below. And one better, why don't you swing over to the homepage and check out the videos section. That's your best way to guarantee that if you have missed out on something, you can sort of skim across all the thumbnails and know exactly which one you may have missed. More videos, guys, will be coming your way, so thanks for watching as you always do, and I'll see you next time.